This has gone too far. I can't handle this anymore. I need to get to the reception and call the police right away. Hello, my dears. It's uh, me, Jackie, and welcome to night reception. It was just another regular shift for me, you know, checking gas and finding the rooms and making sure they were settled. Nothing out of the ordinary, except I wasn't in the best mood that night. I had a fight with my girlfriend before heading. Before heading, she was upset, saying I work too much, never have time for us. Honestly, it felt like just another argument. I figured once the night ended, I'd smooth things over. As usual, the guests arrived and I did my job. Greet them, pull up the reservations and guide them to their rooms. Simple, right? But that night, there was something different in the air. Maybe it was just me, but... Greet them, pull up the reservations, guide them to their rooms. Maybe it was just me. But I couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't quite right. And it turns out, I wasn't wrong. Right, so yeah, there was something wrong. Nice little hotel, by the way. I feel like I've been here before. Can I play basketball? Huh. Oh, cool. Kinda. Nice. Uh, let's see. Oop. Oh, okay. Well, drop doesn't really do its justice, does it? God, I'm terrible. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm the best. Oh. oh, okay. I was right. Uh, close that. Close that. Close that. Close that. Okay, don't close that. What are we doing? Getting up? No. Customer name. Enter name. There's no. There's no customer. No pad. Nothing to write here. Oh, hello, sir. Name is Victor. I've booked a room for the night. Of course, Mr. Victor. Follow me. I'll show you your room. Thanks. Been traveling all day. I hope the room's comfortable. Well, sir, I don't know your room, so let's uh, figure it out. Victor. No room found. Uh, Mr. Victor? There's no room for you found. Why are you doing that with your neck? Customer name, Mr. Victor. No, just Victor. Ah, room number six. Jesus. Okay, Victor. Uh, room number six. Let's go. Follow me, sir. I'm going to guide you to your room. So, so, oh, yeah, you cannot come in here. You have to come this way. All right, sir, let's come. Come with me. Oh, it's dark in here, isn't it, sir? It's a dark night today. Yeah. I hope you don't mind that it's so dark in here. Uh, I think all of our lights are broken. There you go, sir. Room number six. Feel, uh, feel comfortable. Th that's your room. There you go. Here we are, Mr. Victor. If you need anything or have any complaints, feel free to call at the front desk. Thanks. I'll let you know if I need anything. Appreciate it. Well, no problem, Mr. Victor. Nice room you have here. You have an excellent night. Thanks for closing the door right in my face, sir. I appreciate it. Love when they do that to you, right? Right. Hmm. Pretty sure I've been in this hotel before, but... As a... Not as the worker. What's these doors? Well, maybe bathrooms and stuff. Not that I need to be here. Oh, okay. We have another client. Hello. I have a reservation under Evelyn. Well, Evelyn, no problem. I'm gonna find it. I'll take it to her room. Thanks. Uh, it's a bit late, isn't it? This place feels so quiet. A little bit, but you get used to it, Evelyn. It's okay. Let's see. Your name is Evelyn. Number one. All right, Miss Evelyn. I know what room you go to. Number one. Follow me, madam. Then stop looking so freaking creepy. Right, number one. Pretty easy, pretty easy. You see, it's right this way, madam, please. Uh, you'll be staying under the stairs. There you go. This is your room. Hope you enjoy it. Here's your room, Evelyn. If you need anything or have any issues, just uh, call up the front desk. Uh, thank you. I'll keep that in mind. The room seems nice. Yeah, it is. It is really nice, isn't it? I uh, I personally like it myself. Good night, Evelyn. Have an excellent night today. 
I'm just going to go back to do my job. Can I water the plants? Look at that. I cannot really. Maybe not now. Maybe I can later. I don't know. I can play some basketball while I wait. I wish I could actually throw the ball and I'll just like do this weird thing. Oh, stop doing that. Let's see. He has to be a little bit to the side. Give me the ball. Ugh. Let's just... Oh, there he goes. Another client is coming. Hello, good night. Name is Scarlet with double T. I have a reservation. Yes, Scarlet, uh, let me show you a room. Great, lead the way. This place is kind of creepy, don't you think? A little bit, but I work here for so long. I just got used to it, you know, Scarlet. There you go, number 12. Gotcha, gotcha. Number 12, you have to go upstairs, Scarlet. I hope you don't mind. Come on, Bubby. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't I shouldn't say that to you, Scarlet. I'm sorry. I mean, uh, come on, miss. Lovely lady. Yes, that's better. Phew. 12. There you go. Here it is. Hope you like your room. This is your room. If you have any requests, etc., etc., call the front desk. You know the drill. Got it. Let's hope I don't need to. <laughs> yeah, me too. I hope you don't need to because you're just going to make my job harder. I just want to be there and maybe play some basketball games until the end of my shift. How about that? I better water the plants until the new customers arrive. Aha! So I do have to water the plants. Look. Okay. I water the plants. There's more plants? There's more plants. Look. Okay. Oh, another plant. Alright. Did I water all the plants? Nope. There's more plants. I I don't know. I cannot find any more plants. I think those were five plants. You would tell me if I'm done with the plants, right? Where are the other plants? I can't see. I don't know if there's more plants. Why is this here? Alright then. No, it doesn't seem that has any other plants. No, no, the kids play definitely don't have plants. The rest of the hotel don't seem to have anything, actually. Excuse me? Why are you? Oh my god. Hey, what are you doing here? It's in the middle of the night. Aren't you a little too old to be playing on a swing? Old? Who's counting the years anymore? Time stops here. In this place. In, in the hotel? What do you mean? Shouldn't you be in your room or home? Home. I've been waiting here. Watching. You've noticed it too, haven't you? I have noticed a thing. I'm just doing my job. Notice what? You're not making any sense. You will see. Soon enough. We all do, eventually. What are you talking about? What will I see? They always come when the lights go out. They always come? Who comes? These dudes? Hello, sir. Why are you here? Why are you in, the, in this child play game thingy? Anyway, you have a great night, sir. I am going to do my job again. I water all the plants. I'm sure of it. You can you can stay playing over there. I'll just stay playing over here. Stop it. I am so bad at it. Whoa, I did it. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did you scare me? You shouldn't have. Hello. I'm Lydia. Can you please take me to my room? Please? Of course, Lydia. I'll take you uh, there right now. Follow me. Thank you. I just need to get settled quickly. No worries, Lydia. I just need to figure out what room it's yours. Let's see. Lydia. Room number 10. Okay. Follow me, Lydia. You're gonna have a beautiful stay in my hotel. As long as you stop turning your head like that. Uh, don't mind the dude in the swing. Oh, he's gone. Well, don't mind him anyway if he ever shows up again. Right here. Perfect. There we go. Here's your room. Thank you. I will. You're welcome. Uh, excuse me. Right. People are being weird here. I don't know why, but they are just being weird. 
I know I put four people in. Is this four cars from the four people that are just inside? I'll assume so. No. I only have number 11 duo. Okay. I'll, uh... I'll wait. Maybe the last dude will... Oh, there it is. There you are. Hello, sir. Good evening. Name is Damien. You think I have a room reserved? Room 11? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Damien. Follow me. I'll show you to your room. Perfect. Let's hope for a peaceful night. Let me just check, Daniel, Damien. Damien? Okay, yeah, you are indeed number 11. Okay, I'll accept it. Let's go, sir. I'll take you to your room. It's the last room anyway. I don't have to worry about rooms anymore after you. Unless people decide to uh, come over and be like, Nope, I'm done. I want to go home. 11. There we go. Come on, sir. D Damien? This is your room, Damien. Feel free to call the front desk if you need anything. Oh, I will, if necessary. Thanks. You're welcome. Have a good night. Oh, is that my phone ringing? Okay, I'll I'll get there. I'll, look at that. Dude, did you just bark like this? That's awful. I'm coming. I cannot run. I'm sorry. Uh, hello? Good evening. This is Hotel Kitchen. Okay, it's time for the dinner service. How many meals should we prepare for your guests tonight? Uh, good evening. We'll need five meals. Got it. Five meals. We'll have them ready and sent to you in the lobby in about 15 minutes. Perfect. Thanks. You're welcome. If there's anything else, feel free to give us a call. All right. Five meals, five guests. One of them parks like a fucking idiot, but that's fine. That's not my problem. Oh, what just happened? What? Did the did the time pass or something? Oh, it's Ronald McDonald. Um I don't remember requesting McDonald's. Hey, here are your meals you order, five in total. Thanks, you seem in a hurry. Yeah, the faster I finish the quicker I can end my shift and get out of here. This place gives me the creeps at night. I get it, same here. Anyway, thanks again. No problem. Take care. Oh, right. I can only pick up one at a time. Uh, sure, Ronald McDonald. Do each one of them order for a specific meal or... Can I just deliver them to whatever? Do I just put this in the kitchen? What do I do with that? What is this? Where did you came from? I am... I am so confused. I am very confused. What am I supposed to do, Ronald McDonald? Just grab the meals and... There you go. Just, uh, deliver it. You can... You can go. Oh. What the fuck was that? Here's your meal, Lydia. Uh, oh, thank you. This place is so quiet. It's eerie. Yeah, it's definitely peaceful. If you need anything, feel free to call. Thanks. Have a good night. Right, that one worked. Why is this one open? I don't know who was in the 11, but okay, whatever. Now, I don't know if I just need to properly click on the door or if each one of them order a different meal. Would be very useful if I could if I could run. Oh Jesus! Oh, you scared me. Oh sorry, I was just about to knock. I guess I was a little too eager for my dinner. No harm done. Here's your meal. Thanks, and sorry about that. You really caught me off guard. It's all right. If you need anything else, just let me know. We'll do. Have a good night. Okay, weird people. You stop looking at me. I'm already confused enough. Good evening, Victor. Here's your dinner. Ah, finally. I'm starving. Thanks. No problem. If you need anything else, just give us a call. we will do. Enjoy the rest of your night. Okay, thanks, Victor. Glad to see that you're a nice person after all. Right, I have some more meals to deliver. I really wish I could run. This is gonna take forever, especially because I did a messed up job in here. Right, I think there's one person here. 
Was it Scarlet? Yeah, did I deliver you, Scarlet? Thank you. I was just about to ask when it would arrive. Here you go. Let us know if you need anything. Sure. Enjoy your evening. Great. One last meal to deliver. I don't remember the room. I think it's 11. For Damien. Yeah, most probably. <clears throat> There's one more to deliver. You're weird. Come on, sir. You're the last one. Here's your dinner. Appreciate it. Took you long enough. Oh, sorry for the wait. Anything else you need? Not for now, but I'll let you know. This guy is weird and I don't like him. But now I can tell Ronald McDonald that he can go home. Alright, Ronnie. You can, uh... You can go. Alright, I've delivered all the meals. Great. How did it go? Any issues? Not really, but one of the guests said that they thought someone knocked on their door earlier. It wasn't me. Huh. Could have been another guest. These places can play tricks on your mind at night. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, thanks for the quick service. I'll be, get, be glad when my shift's over. I hear ya. I've got one more round of deliveries and I'm out of here too. Hang in there. Will do. Have a good night. You too. Stay safe out there. Bye, Ronald. I hope you have a great night. There goes Ronald McDonald. Super happy doing his job. Delivering meals. Very f nice. Okay. What else can I do here? Just wait for my shift to end, I suppose. Play some more basketball. Oh, what was that? Oh, fantastic. Now there's no power. And you are here and you exist and I don't know why. But okay, love the lack of comment from this guy. At least I already know where the fuse is. It's right here. What's this on the floor? Oh my god, who are you? Mr. Davis, what are you doing here? I didn't expect to see you. You actually scared me for a second. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to. I'm staying in the room three tonight. Just checking in on things after the power went out. Right, I forgot you were staying here. Everything's fine now. I just had to reset the breakers. So we didn't even give him food? Good, good. I was worried something more serious happened. The power can be tricky sometimes. Yeah, it's all sorted now. Now, since you're here, the reception desk looks a bit messy, don't you think? Could you tidy up before the guests start noticing? Oh, maybe he's the owner. Sure, I'll take care of it right now. Thanks. I'll head back to my room then. Let me know if anything else goes wrong. Okay, Mr. Davis, or probably the owner of this fucking shitty place. Oh, great. What is this? Uh, when did the mess turn into like that? That's ridiculous. It's not even possible to be dirty this fast. What the fuck? Okay, am I dead? Are we all dead? I think we all dead. We're definitely dead. Anything else for me to clean? What is that? Eye cologne. Okay. I don't know what that is for. Oh, phone. Hello. I'll get you in a second. Hello. Is this the reception? I'm Scarlet in room 12. Uh, something strange just happened. While the power was out, someone tried to open my door. I thought it was you, but I didn't see anyone when I checked. That's unsettling. I'm really sorry about that. I'll come up right away and take a look. Okay, thank you, but please hurry if you're really uneasy. Don't worry, Scarlet. I'll, I'll be right there with my broom. I'll use it to defend myself. That's the phone again. Hello? Who is this? Hello? Is this some kind of joke? If you're messing with me, stop now. Say something. Who are you? Don't stop calling, I'm calling the police. This isn't funny anymore. What do you mean anymore? That's the first time that this happens. 
Anyway, I'm going over to the 12 to see if there's something going on there, but... Looks fine. Uh, madam? Scarlet, open the door. Is something wrong? I can't hear you. Alright, I'm going to force it open. Oh, blood. Should I clean it up? God damn it, Scarlet. Look at the mess that you made. Did, how could this be? Maybe it'll come in handy, but I hope I don't have to use it. Well, where is it? I don't know, but I'll just keep my broom on me. Scarlet? This has gone too far. I can't handle this anymore. I need to get to the reception and call the police right away. Who's calling? Is it from here? Okay, I'm just going to call the police apparently. Me and my uh, my broom. Somebody's screaming help. I don't know where they're coming it coming from, but then uh, I'm just going to very slowly walk towards the phone to call the police. Let me drop this. I don't need it anymore. Hello police. Emergency services. What's going on? Well, a lot. Someone's in of uh, in one of the rooms. A woman is screaming for help. I think she's in danger. What are you right now? I'm in the reception of motel. Someone broke into her room. She's calling for help. Stay calm. We're sending officers now. Oh boy. Oh great. Um. I would say I have a broom and I'm not scared of using it, but I also have a gun. Oh shit! F F F F F. I'm dead. That was Damien, wasn't it? Um, okay. What am I supposed to do? Call the police? Oh, I'm back here? Come on. There we go. Alright, I shot him. You went back for so further away. It was so dumb. It's finally over. I managed to survive, but Scarlet is still missing. The police will handle the rest now. I don't know what really happened tonight, but I know I will never forget. This place will remain will always remind me of the fear, the danger, and how close I came to losing everything. Now I just want to leave this nightmare behind. Nice. Thank you for playing Night Reception. If you enjoyed the game and want to support me in making even better games, feel free to help me escape my trusty old uh, something PC. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with your PC, man. Oh, I can see the dude sitting over there now. I think he is the older then, after all. Anyway, that was it. That was night reception. Not bad. Not bad at all. I enjoyed it. The only dumb thing was like how further away he threw me after I died. It was so far away. It didn't need to be setting me so far away. But still, I liked it. I liked the story. And I feel like there's more to it because there was even like the dude sitting there saying like, you know, something is going to happen, right? So what what was he? Was like he death and just waiting for someone to die because he knew someone was going to die? It's like, very fun. I enjoyed it. Anyway, that's it for now. So if you liked it, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more. I'm going to play tons of other games besides this one. And as usual, hope you all have a happy ever after. I'll see you on the next day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you.